Minister Christophe Dabiré's visit to Seba came on the heels of a horrific attack. Twelve kilometers away in the village of Solhan, jihadists attack civilians, burning down their homes. Officials say the attack is the worst in recent history. This is the first time in our country that we've had an attack with such massive devastation of the population of our country. The president wanted us to carry a message of hope. We fought against terrorism for some time. We've won victories. At the Seba Health Center, health workers have been working to treat survivors of the attack. We received a total of 40 wounded who were admitted to the health unit of Seba. And among the 40 wounded, there are 23 that were able to evacuate at the regional hospital center in Dori. We had heard that some had to continue in Wagadugu city, considering the seriousness of their condition. Following the attack, President Rochma Christian Caboret declared three days of mourning. He called the act barbaric and said security forces were looking for the perpetrators. During his visit, Prime Minister Dabire urged the population to help the government in its effort to fight terrorism. Security is the business of the government. This is the business of the defense and security forces. But it's also the business of the entire population. The population must engage with us to ensure that the enrollment of our young people stop, that our young people stay in the country to work for the economic and social development of this country so that we can share the fruits of this development. It's not good that we let these kids go. They enlist in terror groups, and it is they who will return to the villages to sow terror and desolation in their own families. We have to fight this. In May, Burkina Faso launched a military operation to tackle the resurgence of militant attacks. The country has faced repeated attacks, with over a billion people being forced to flee their homes over the past two years. Astatal, CGTN.